Uh, and we have someone elected in uh, St. John's. Uh, tell us about yes, uh, Seamus O'Regan, St. John's South Mount Pearl. Uh, that was one that at the beginning of the election campaign, I think we all thought Ryan Cleary, the sitting member of the NDP, had that one in the bag. Well, it turns out that Seamus O'Regan has now got it. And by a healthy margin, he has elected a close personal friend, I might add, of uh, Justin Trudeau's. And Justin Trudeau went to that riding a couple of times during the mm -hmm. campaign. Put to lots make of money into that campaign, yeah. did they, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it was uh, very much a priority uh, for, for Mr. Trudeau to make sure that Mr. O'Regan did well. I mean, I think it's interesting just watching the numbers come up that the other race in St. John's looks like it's tightening as well. I can see yeah. that Mr. Harris and Mr. Whalen are now Not very close to each other. Yeah. So. Mike, I just want to point out to everybody here, this is New Brunswick Southwest. This is a southern part of New Brunswick, as the name would imply. This has been conservative before yeah. North America was even formed, ge you know, it, geologically. Uh, it is John Williamson, who was the former director of communications for Stephen Harper, going back into the midst of time. Uh, this has been literally conservative going back to 1997. And take a look at this. The Liberals out to an early lead uh, over John Williamson. Uh, this was not one that anybody was expecting would be a liberal pickup. Uh, everybody said, you know, one of the expressions was the people who live, the voters in that part of New Brunswick, come from Puritan stock that were so uptight, even the Puritans threw them out. <laughs> so, uh, 